Today we'll study sequences. A sequence of real numbers is a function defined on set n which is set of natural numbers and whose range is contained in the set of real numbers. So any sequence it is defined by this function f from natural numbers to real numbers. Now you must have studied lot many sequences say for example arithmetic progression is a sequence so if we write numbers such as 1, 3, 5, 7 it is an example of a sequence. You might also have heard about this famous Fibonacci sequence which is 1, 1 and then 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5 that is any term is defined by sum of two previous terms. So this is your Fibonacci sequence then there could be some sequences which do not have any mathematical formulation. Say for example sequence of prime numbers. For sequence of prime numbers we do not have any formula as yet. Now there are many ways to define a sequence and the most common way is either using angled brackets and writing its nth term or using small brackets. Now we have to write any sequence say for example sequence of reciprocals of even number then we can write the sequence as this x and then writing some terms which is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8 and it goes on and the other way to express this sequence is writing it as 1 upon 2n where n belongs to natural numbers. In this first case we have defined sequence as ordered arrangement of numbers and the second case we have defined this in terms of its nth term. Another way to define sequence is using recursive relations. Say for example let us say suppose x1 is 1 and xn plus 1 is xn plus 2. Now if we write x2, x2 is 1 plus 2 will be 3 x3 is 3 plus 2, 5. So this sequence is actually sequence of odd natural numbers. So we have defined the sequence of odd natural numbers using a recursive relation which is xn plus 1 equals xn plus 2 where x1 is 1. Now this Fibonacci sequence it can be expressed as a n plus 1 equals a n plus a n minus 1. So we may express any sequence by writing ordered terms. We may define a sequence by writing its nth term or we may define any sequence with recursive formula. And then as discussed previously there could be some sequences which do not have any mathematical formulations. Now once we have defined a sequence the next thing that we'll study is convergence of a sequence. A sequence of real numbers converges to a real number A if for every positive number epsilon there exists an n belongs to natural numbers such that for all n greater than or equal to n mod of a n minus a is less than epsilon. So if we can find any n greater than or equal to n for all the values of epsilon however small it may be then we call such a as this limit of sequence and we write limit n tends to infinite a n is equal to a. So this is the formal definition to check convergence of a sequence. So let us take up an example. Now here the question is show that the sequence f n defined by f n equals under root of n plus 1 minus under root n is convergent. Now one of the limitation of this standard method of checking convergence is we must know this a in order to check convergence using this epsilon method. Now it is not given in the question but we know that this function fn it converges to 0. If we take this limit, limit n tends to infinite under root of n plus 1 minus under root n then it is infinity minus infinity form and if we multiply it with its conjugate we will get this as 1 upon under root of n plus 1 plus under root of n which is 1 by infinite and the value of this limit is 0. So this sequence it converges to this number a which is 0 and this 0 is the limit of this sequence. 
Now, once we know the value of A, we can use this method to show that the sequence is a convergent sequence. Now, we can write mod of Fn minus 0. Now, mod of Fn minus 0 will be mod of under root of n plus 1 minus under root of n. Now, what we'll do is we'll rationalize it. We can write this as 1 upon under root n plus 1 plus under root n. Now we know that under root of n plus 1 plus under root n, it is greater than 2 times root n. Then we can write 1 upon under root n plus 1 plus under root n will be less than 1 upon 2 root n. So this expression, it is less than 1 upon 2 root n and it is less than epsilon. Now from this we can write under root n, it is greater than 1 upon 2 epsilon or n is greater than 1 upon 4 epsilon square which satisfies our condition that for all the natural numbers which are greater than 1 upon 4 epsilon square this fn minus 0 it is less than epsilon however smaller the value of epsilon may be. This is how we show a sequence is convergent using standard definition.